boats and liaisons and all that fun stuff. So we'll get to that at a regular, a regular meeting. Joe, if that's okay with you. That's fine. That's awesome. Yeah. Great, but welcome. Thank you for stepping up too. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Good to have you, Joe. Thank you, Veronica. Okay, we just have one thing tonight for meeting business is to review and approve the amendment to the um, VADAR systems for the water department. This was tabled from our last meeting. I was contacted by Todd Melanson after the last meeting. He was supposed to be at the meeting, Veronica, but he got tied up at work. So that's why there was not representation there. Um, so after speaking with him and Jim through the water um, superintendent that this is going to affect their billing if we don't vote on it this week. So that's why we're having this meeting tonight. So, um, I guess I have a question about that. Can I ask about that or do you want to wait? Sure. Go ahead. We're, we're um, I, I guess whenever I read the, um, the things that were in our packet last week, there wasn't any sort of cover letter in there. Of course, and wasn't anyone from the board of water commissioners or otherwise there. And what I read was that the contract was good until March 31st. So I guess I'm wondering why it affects billing this week and why that wasn't evident on what we were looking at. Um, two of, I, I can answer one of them and I'll let the super answer the second one. So the, the first one was um, they, we agreed on if, if the water commissioners are submitting something to us for approval um, that the motions or the, what's in our packet states that they approved it at their previous meeting as, as, as approved by the board of water commissioners on blah, blah, blah date. Um, and then we have backup in our, in our, packets as to as to such so that should address the future so in approvals. the future that will be what is there that's what i suggested to them i can't promise i can't compel anybody to do anything um but that that would be my suggestion if another board is bringing it to our attention that if they approved it at one of their meetings we have the proof and acknowledgement that they did already approve it so um and the second part of your question i'll, I'll defer to water Okay, so our, our next billing cycle, which we, we're going to start reading is March 1st, but we have to stop um, preparing in mid-February to, to send out the readers and get everything ready for the reading at uh, the 1st of March. So if we don't have it installed, it won't be ready and it cannot be put into place till after billing and everything's mailed out, which would be in the middle of April at the earliest. Does that, does that answer the question or? Um, yeah, I suppose so. I guess I would have appreciated having that information. It wasn't evident to me from um, the two sheets we had in our packet. I'll, I'll make sure the next time anything comes up, I, I make sure everything's covered. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Joe, I know you haven't been part of this, but um, if you had any questions. Well, I, I just, I, 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 I didn't, I don't know enough about it. I've been following, um, you know, I'm just going to, unfortunately on this one, um, I'll follow you, your lead, but you know, Jim and I spoke and, uh, you know, we'll be fine. We'll get everything that we need in the packets. You know, once again, it's only been since Saturday, so it's going to take a little bit for everybody to get all on the same page. And I appreciate that. Okay. Um, I don't have any other further questions if you don't, Veronica. I do not, no. Okay. Um, so can I get a motion to approve the amendment and have, I believe, Jim, you would sign it? Isn't that what we... Um, I have it available. You can either pop in in the morning and sign as board members, or if you'd like, I can sign it this evening and I can scan it right over to David tonight, whatever your pleasure. Well, we have to do the, the warrant tomorrow anyway, so I just let's just uh, sign it and okay. um, sign out of session. So can I get a motion, please? Um, I move that we approve the amendment to the VADAR system for the water department and um, that we sign it out of session. Second. Okay, any discussion further? No, what do I do? Just go in town hall. I think you may have mentioned the packet will be there somewhere. Yep. The, um, if I could, Mr. Chairman, um, Joe, when we talked today about the warrants, I don't know if you received an email yet from the town accountant, but the warrants are on the 
table right out here, the two black folders. So this will be in a folder right next to it. Okay, well, I might need guidance to make sure I do it right, but thank you. I'll be here. Okay. All those in favor? Veronica Kell, yes. Joe Shank, yes. Wayne Miller, yes. Um, that's it. Can I get a motion to adjourn? Um, before we do, can, sure. because I see that um, Steve and Lisa are on this call, um, for agenda for the 28th work session, um, I was wondering if we could add TCAM business to that. Sure, what do we have open? Um, it, ha it has to do with um, the request for funds so that they can get the work done that they need to do. Okay, so that's for Thursday night you're asking to add? To add that to the agenda for the first thing. That's Thursday night's meeting at 6.30, correct? Correct. Oh, okay. All right. I had sent yeah. out, and I think I copied everybody, just a, um, a formal request as stated by the grant agreement. And I, Wayne, you should have a copy on your town email, and I copied Jim and, and Veronica on it. Joe, I'll send you a copy, because I didn't have your email at that point, but I'll just send you a copy of it. That's Steve, fine. Steve, can you send it to my the, um, email on my and the, the Board of Selectmen webpage? Um, my, I'm having trouble with my, my town email. Getting it, uh, getting the it Board of Selectmen webpage, Wayne, lists towns and MA gov as oh, it does yeah that's that, that's i'm not I'll, getting those I'll, I'll forward it to you right now okay. Wayne, just so you have it okay thanks i'm um, sorry I, I apologize i'm having trouble so i'll change that email on the, the web and, and mr chairman on this point um veronica and i've been emailing a little bit on this this afternoon um when Lori, the town accountant uh saw the request for the quarterly disbursement of funds she went to the grant agreement and it it becomes a, a matter of the mechanics of transferring the funds without a town meeting appropriation so I recall at the last town meeting we appropriated the year's worth that we had on file and her question to dor our rep at dor is how do we do the next thing her expectation was going to be that at town meeting we'll do the next four quarters worth so we're always paying out uh, a year in arrears um, but we do understand that there is a critical need to access funds now so she's trying to find whatever mechanism is necessary to make that happen i don't have a report back as of yet but i definitely will probably close the business tomorrow so we'll have it for thursday night I have two things on that. One is that at town meeting, we appropriated 425,000. We only appropriated for, we only um, signed for 414 in the transfer. Therefore, there should be roughly $11,000 that has already been appropriated that they have not received. Um, I understand why we only transferred 414 but the appropriation was for 425,000 so that's one way that i think um that could happen um the sec the the second um thing is that if in fact that is the case that it has to be appropriated at town meeting then that means our agreement is in error and um and the Section 8 should not read the way Section 8 reads, and that needs to be um, rectified if in case that is, if in fact that is the case. And that's what she's working on with DOR now. The issue of the appropriation of 425 versus 414, um, I can have Lori look into that, but my understanding as we sit, Veronica, is that that, that was the balance was to be able to be used for the expenses we are carrying for Hartley um, um, at the time. So I, I, I'd have to have her respond more in more detail to that. But we subtracted out the original ask was for like 450 and we subtracted out about 25 K for Hartley. It wound up that we had Hartley on the books for longer. Sure. I can't speak exactly because I don't have that paperwork in front of me, but um, the appropriation was for 425,000. It was an after the fact that was not changed with the town's people. I, I, I think that the goal that we're all sharing is to get TCAM as liquid and operational as we can, as fast as we can. So she just wants to make certain that because she's the one that signs on it, 
that everything is copacetic with DOR. That's all. Mr. Chair. Yes. Uh, Jim, can, uh, so I'm kind of in a blind on a lot of that. Uh, yeah. I don't know what is available, but I would like to get all the documentation so I can start reviewing and reading up on this. So when we do have that conversation come Thursday night, I have read up on it. So sure. what do I need to do? Um, well, what we have right now between the town and TCAM uh, primarily are two documents, the bylaws and the operating agreement. So the bylaws are basically the constitution for TCAM, a private nonprofit. And then the operating agreement is the business agreement between the town, who is the license holder for cable, who receives the money from cable to be able to transfer the funds off to TCAM so they can actually employ those dollars and do the stuff that cable broadcasting um, does for a community. So I can get you those two docs, Joe, yep. and uh, you read them at your, at your leisure and any questions you have, um, we can either deal with them live and in real time at the meeting or we can chat offline, whatever works best for you. All right, that's fine, I appreciate that. I request that you send a third, the Articles of Organization. Sure. Actually, do, you, do you have, Veronica, the, um, you were putting together the TCAM handbook. Um, do you have such a document compiled that would be a, a good solid one document reference for Joe? It's not a document, it's a file um, system, a file stream. And I put it on um, thumb drives and gave it to Steve for the three directors okay. after our meeting on the 13th. So it's not that. I mean, I can send, if you want me to send Joe, I have those three documents in the no, governance no, file. No, I do as well. I just didn't know if there was one. It's not a simple, document, so. no, it's okay. not. Yep. Yeah, it's yep. a file system. I'll forward them off to Joe before I head home tonight so he has them electronically. And just, just to speak on the bylaws, you know, there's a little bit of confusion. The bylaws look like they were copy and pasted when it was the, when TCAM was part of the town, they were never rewritten. Um, so there's looking at some other towns and having a little bit of a discussion, Joe, and, and I can fill you in too. We're working on the bylaws right now as a, uh, as a corporation, but um, a lot of the things that are in the bylaws right now really do not pertain to what the, what the corporation is, and we're, we're working through that. So. All right, that's fine. As long as I, I just want to have yep. documentation so I can at least start following along with you guys. Okay. Yep. So we'll, we'll finish that discussion on Thursday then. Thank you. Okay. Um, is that it? Can I get a motion to adjourn now? Um, I move that we adjourn at 6.14 p.m. Second. All those in favor? Veronica Cal, yes. Joe Shank, yes. Wayne Miller, yes. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Hartley. Thank you. Good, Thank night. You. Good night, folks. Good night.